Good morning, p i j a n Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, so good morning. Uh, my name is my real name is Panya, but my Thai friends and many of my professors know me as Jan, as you call me Jan, and it is a nickname that I came up for myself when I first um, moved to Thailand. And I am one of the third generation of ITBL. And now, what do you do, and uh, where do you work? So currently, I'm home in Cambodia, and I work as an air freight operation staff at uh, DHL logistic company in air freight department. And a little bit into the job, a lot of my friends who are not in logistics field or friends who I know from outside of the university. Would always confuse what I'm doing as DHL Express. Um, DHL Express is like a place that you go when you need to send personal parcels or packages um, outside of the country, like a post office. But where I actually work is actually DHL Logistics, who is also known as a freight forwarder. So um, if you study in ITBL, you will instantly know what a freight forwarder is. But for those who don't um, study or work in this field, Might or might not know, and I think that's why a lot of my friends were confused. So I only started working there for about four months. No, no, sorry, four weeks ago, so a month ago. And um, and there are still a lot of things for me to learn about my job, my department, and also the company as well. And from my four week experience working there, I learned that at air freight department at the place that I work, we work as a middleman who help to arrange air transportation. So we constantly have to work with. A lot of airlines and customers who are mostly factories, and the working process itself is um, rather complicated to be explained in a short amount of time. So for my daily tasks, I mostly deal with a lot of import-related documents and a lot of label printing. Why and why did you decide to study at an international college at KMUTNB? So for the first reason, um, why I chose to study in international college at KMUTNB because it provides the course in English, and you you all have to know that English is really important right now because it is a universal language. Um, in every job that you do, you need English, and for the major itself, logistics, right? Um, when I first started my study, I didn't know what the word logistics means, and the term was really new to me. But I chose it because the major itself also includes international trade in there, so it's quite broad. It's not only just logistics, but it's also business related as well. So, and and also at international college, the um, the course covers many aspects of business and logistics, whether it's marketing, accounting, land land transportation. Air transportation, sea transportation, warehousing, and many many other areas that would be beneficial when you go out and work in the real world. And unlike any other universities, um, most of them only provide the programs in an Thai language, which is my weakness. So that's why I chose to study the program in international college at KMUTNB. What impression do you have in the international college? Um, to be honest, at first I was scared because it it was the first time that I actually studied in a foreign country. Everything was new to me: the language, the culture, the people, and and the impression the first time that I got there, it was pretty hard actually because I couldn't really make friends with Thai friends. It took me a, about two weeks after the class started when I actually find a. Find a group of people that I actually fit in. This is a true story because it was really hard for a foreigner to, um, like to make friends when they don't really speak the language. So, I the first people that I know was um other foreign students who was also Vietnamese, and we got pretty close. And then we just started to get to know each other and help each other fit into the new environment. But besides that, the professor were really helpful in um helping us to. Uh, get adapt into the new environment. Wow. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Uh, you have learned that you can use at work. So it basically depends on where 
and which field you are working. So as for me, I work in air freight department. So everything that I learned in air transportation class is useful. And but I know that at the time that I was in class, I didn't know that it was going to be useful to me someday. And I got kind of lazy in the class. <laughs> and after you graduated and you get to work in the field, and then the time that you will know that those things, everything that you learn in class. Are important, and you wish that you could turn back the time and pay more attention in the class. And besides just that, um, a lot of other courses are also helpful in your daily life. And because um, in the work field itself, like in air transportation, you don't only just focus on air, trans air transportation because everything is related. Sometimes you just have to work with land, tra land transportation as well. And so knowing um, that the course also provides. Land, land transportation course so um, you kind of have the knowledge a little bit about the area and not just in one area that you specialize in wow. uh, can you give your junior advice and choosing a logistic field so my advice for the juniors um, I hope that they, they um, in class that they not, they don't only pay attention on the lessons itself but pay attention on how their um, body how their feelings react to these subjects and so they can learn that uh, which subjects or which cause attracts them most um, and learn about their passion and when they actually know what they are interested in um, since in during the first semester of year four the school asks you to do internship and i think those times the inter the internship period is the time that um those uh, the juniors can actually test out their passion if they actually they can actually see if they really have passion in the fields that they like they can try and choose to work in the field during the internship and try out new things and see if they really like it if not it's okay it's just a trial and error so they can try it later after they graduated as you work in the logistic field how do you think there is a need for worker with logistic knowledge in Cambodia? Honestly, in Cambodia, there has only been uh, one generation that graduated within this field. Um, and so a lot of people that have previously worked in that field, um, they don't necessarily study of and graduate from logistic field. Some people studied in marketing, but they, ca they can also work in logistics. So that means everyone can work in logistics. But um, what matters is that if you actually study in that field before, you can learn faster in the field itself. And it's not going to be too hard to adapt and, um, you know, put everything into work. So you just like, uh, you, you like, you know, everything beforehand before you actually go into the field so it's easier to work with it's easier for yourself and for the company also for today i'm very appreciate uh pj and for give advice and knowledge to our juniors thank you very much thank you, thank you.